I'll play Lost the solo. Um, okay, it, the solo itself is pretty simple. It starts on, uh, it's all eighth notes, starting on three open E's, right? Your first open, first string. E, 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 then D on the tenth fret of your high E string. For one D, E, 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 e D, and then three high E's, which is your twelfth fret. Right? E, 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 D, E, 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 woo! That's high. And then we come all the way back to, if we did it all on one string, it would be G on the third fret for one G, and then three F sharps, which is the second fret. So we went three open E's, E, 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 one D, three high E's, one G on the third fret, three G's, or three F sharps on the second fret, then one B on the seventh fret, then three D's on the tenth fret, the last note, F sharp on the second fret. That's the whole solo, and he just repeats it. So he goes, open E, 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 D, twelfth fret, third fret, second fret, seventh fret, tenth fret. Then one second fret at the end. So what I tried to do when I played it in the video, the uh, cover art that I did here on YouTube, um, I tried to incorporate a bit of the chords. So I can't remember if I played like an E power chord or just octaves. So I, we're just going to do octaves for right now. I think it works pretty good. So I got my E first finger on the seventh fret of my D string, or A string, sorry, to give us an E. So we have low E, then E here on the seventh fret, an octave higher. Then another octave higher, which will be the ninth fret of your third string, of your G string, to give us a low E, an E in the middle, and a high E. And I'm just playing eighth notes, down, 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 and then for that one D by itself, so remember how we said the solo started on the open E? Well, that open E is also this ninth fret of your uh, G string, your third string. That's the same, ex excuse me, the exact same E. So we're going a low E, E in the middle, high E, three octaves. Uh, so for three of them, right? One, two, three. Then I'm going to take my pinky here and put it on that same D we played a little while ago, the tenth fret. E, 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 D. E. Now when I go up to this high E, the chord is C. So it's pretty hard to grab a C chord and hold this high E. So I'm just going to put my first finger on the eighth fret of my low E for a C. My second finger on the ninth fret of my third string for an E, part of the C chord. And then my high E. And so I'm kind of blocking strings four and five are being blocked with this first finger, just kind of sitting across the string. So if I pluck it here, I don't hear anything. So I'm plucking, I'm, I'm running my pick right down all the strings, but I'm not hearing five and four and five. I'm hearing six and three. And then my middle finger is blocking two, so I don't hear two also if I hit two. So even though I'm hitting all six strings, I'm really only hearing three strings. A low C, an E in the middle, and then a high E. So I went for my E octaves for three, hit that one D, these C's for three, big, uh, big stretch. Then I'm going to hit this one G. That would have been like when we came back to this G on the third fret of your high E string. Well, that G is also on the eighth fret of your B string, of your second string. So I'm going to grab that one for one G. I'm going to hit it by itself. Then I'm going to come back a half step to F sharp, just like we did here, back to F sharp. But this one's going to be on the seventh fret of our B. And I'm going to play uh, part of a G chord with B in the bass. So I'm going to put my first finger on the seventh fret of my E string for a B second finger on the seventh fret of my G string, third string for a D, and then F sharp we just talked about, right underneath it with my third finger, seventh fret, second string. And then we'll do three of those. So I went again for my octaves on E, one, two, three, hit that high D by itself with my pinky, this big C chord, this one G by itself, then I'm coming back to all on the seventh fret, right? String six, string three, and two. Fingers one, two, three, for three, then I'm going to hit this B right underneath it. Then I'm going to go to this D, and that's with my D chord. This one's a pretty easy one, because if I bar my first finger across the seventh fret, that's basically a D chord. It's kind of like, looks like this shape. If I D, hold back whole step to C, half step to B, A. It's like your open A chord, right? A, whole step to B, half step to C, whole step to D. And there's my D for three. And then the last note, uh, what was the F sharp, sorry, which remember we said the last note was at F sharp on the second fret? But I'm going to grab it on the 11th fret of the G. That's the same note. And I'm starting again. So I have my E's, one D with my pinky, up to this pinky to the E on the 12th fret, for three, one G by itself on the 8th fret of the 2nd string. There's our G slash B chord with the F sharp. Then B with my pinky, 7th fret of the high E. Then my D with my D chord. You can hit the 5th string if you want, or you don't have to. It'll put an A in the bass, so it'll make it sound a little bit different. So you might want to... Uh, actually, you can have an A even if you play the 4th string, because that's an A also. But either way, it doesn't matter. Whatever you like the sound of better. 
and then uh, that one F sharp. We'll start again. So we got. Again. Nice. That time I used my third finger instead of my pinky here. And then sometimes you can incorporate those strumming we talked about in the other two uh, lessons, part one and part two, where we go down, 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 up, up, down. So I'm going down, up, up, down on that C. And then down, up, up, uh, down on D again, if you want. Sometimes I can go down, up, down, down on those octaves. Down, up, down, down. One and two. Sounds kind of neat. Yeah, anyway, cool play lost. Uh, and in the real solo, he doesn't do any of that, right? He's just playing an electric guitar and he's doing the... I don't know whether he plays it all on one string or keeps it in position because I showed you a bunch of places to play the same notes. So you could keep it all in position. Right? E, 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 D on the 10th, high E on the 12th, G on the 12th fret of your G string, back a half step for your F sharps, whoops, and then B, 12th fret of your B string. Anyway, you get the idea. I, I did it on one string because that's a good way to learn your notes and you can see all the notes on the string, but you can do it in position or you can try it with all the chords. Anyway, uh, Coldplay's Lost. Uh, have fun!